Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine McDonald and I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new here, you may as well hit subscribe. Today's video, I was thinking, I was like, you know what I haven't helped you guys a lot with? Back bends. And what's something that I need to work on personally that I've honestly been neglecting? Back bends and back flexibility. So today's video is going to be all about achieving more back flexibility and like I said it's something I've been neglecting I've been working a lot on legs a lot on flexibility in the lower body but let's work on the back flexibility today so without further ado let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna try to upload a video like once a week or once every other week dedicated to just back flexibility because let's face it I need to work more on it like I said I've been neglecting it so let's go ahead and get started we'll take our hands underneath our shoulders on the next exhale tuck your chin to your chest into a cat arching your spine we're just going to warm up the back a little bit do a little bit of core work and then go into some stretches just flex to oh my gosh that is not english <laughs> then we'll go into some stretches to achieve more back flexibility and let's inhale look up into a cow good again exhale to a cat you can take your hips side to side <sighs> inhale to a cow and same thing, you can take your hip side to side. Good, let's do that three more times. Exhale to a cat. <sighs> Inhale to a cow. And for two. <sighs> two. One, last one. <sighs> and one. Beautiful, we're gonna do a disco cat. So find your belly button to spine connection. Lift your back towards the sky, chin to chest. Take your ribcage to the side. Down to the floor, start onto the floor, looking up into a cow. Take your ribcage to the right and back up. So we're doing a circular motion to the left. Down, we should recall this, the cat and hairball. <laughs> Honestly, this is what my cat looks like. Good. And let's continue going towards the left. And then we'll go towards the right, same thing. To the right, down, left, and up. Right, down left and up one more right down left and up beautiful tuck your toes under lift your hips up release your heels into the floor lengthen your spine stretching the back of your legs in your downward facing dog take your feet about hip distance apart lengthen the spine push the floor away lift the tailbone up to the sky inhale exhale again inhale lift the heels exhale release deeper Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, walk towards a high plank. We'll do a little bit of core work. Tap your right knee down and up. Option to go on your elbows if this is too painful for your wrist. And then the left knee down and up. Let's do that for 10. 10. 9. 9. 8. 8. Seven, seven, once again, if it's too much on your wrists, go down to your elbows, six, six, five, five, I'm honestly just distracting you from the fact that we're holding a plank, four, four for about a minute, three, three, two, two, and last one, and one. Beautiful, release the knees down, go all the way down onto your belly, Pointing through your toes, rotate your legs. Option to take your hands underneath your forehead as well. And just to open up our hip flexors and engage the glutes, we're going to be lifting our legs up and down. Think of connecting your belly button to your spine, slightly lifting your belly button off the floor and lower down. And again for two. If this is painful on your hip bones or your pelvis, go ahead and put a sweater or you can double up the mat here. You can even put your hands here. And let's go for five, and let's go for six, and let's go for seven, and let's go for eight, and let's go for nine, and last one, 10, flex the feet, and just do little beats for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Bend your knees and just windshield wiper 
your legs side to side, press into your hands and sit back into a child's pose. Good, and then roll up. Go ahead and swing your legs in front of you. One more core exercise before we go into some deeper back bends. Go ahead and sit halfway back. Option to keep your feet flat, just the toes touching the floor, or lift your feet completely off the floor. Wherever you are, you can take your hands to heart center. We're gonna be turning our body towards the right. Center, left, center, stay with me. Go back and come back up. And again, to the right, center, left, center. You can rotate the legs as you go down and come back up. You can keep them rotated if you prefer to the right. Into a little attitude, cross left and open. Maybe switch legs Ooh. and to the right, center, left, center. Rotate and stay here and do little circles for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. Just turn your upper body to the right, to the left, and let's do it again, to the right, and to the left. Go ahead and swing your legs back once again into that tabletop. Go ahead and roll out your wrists a couple of times. On the next inhale, tuck your toes under and lift your hips up to your downward facing dog. On the next exhale, walk your feet together towards the back of your mat. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do a spine ripple, still warming up the back. Widen your downward dog a little bit so when you go forward, you're in a high plank. Push back and you're gonna tuck your pelvis under, tuck your chin to your chest, roll forward. Last thing to come to this high plank is your head. Good, and then go ahead and bend your back knees. You only have two pairs of knees, so <laughs> bend your knees. I worded that really weird. Lift your tailbone up to the sky, arching your back the opposite way, press back. Hopefully you're not slipping as much as I am on this mat because I'm a clammy and sweaty. Again, tuck your pelvis under, chin and chest are the last things to come forward. Bend the knees, lift the tailbone, and push back. And again, tuck the pelvis under, rolling forward, bend the knees, lift the tailbone, push back. Let's do one more. Tuck the pelvis, roll forward, bend the knees, lift the tailbone, and push back. Beautiful, go all the way down onto your front once again. This time, you'll notice I have this TheraBand. We're going to be using it in a second when we come back up. Rotate your legs, take your hands underneath your head. We're gonna do one leg at a time. I lied, let's actually go to our elbows because we already did a pretty good warm up. So rotate your legs. We're gonna lift the right leg, lift the left arm, like we're doing a first arabesque and lower down. And again, for two, we're gonna do six in total. Down, think belly bend to spine, three, and down, four, and down. Keep rotating, five, and down. Last one, six, we're gonna hold, and do little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay with me. Press your hands into the floor, keep rotating the legs, lift the back up higher, let the shoulders fall away from the ears to keep that nice posture. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, rotate the legs, and we do the same thing up here. Lift the left arm, attempt lifting the right leg. If you need to walk your hands out a bit, that's okay, and lower down. And again, for two, and down. Now this one's extreme. If it's hard to do or you're feeling it in your lower back, go back down to the elbow but you can also walk your hand further towards the front of the mat. Good, and let's do two more. Two, good, and last one. One, and then go back down to the elbow, roll out the shoulders for a bit, and we do the same thing to the left. Make sure you have space in front of you. I definitely don't. <laughs> lift the left leg, lift the right arm, and down, and again for two, and down three, and down, four, and down, five, down, last one, six, pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, press back up. And then same thing, keep rotating the legs, walk the hands forward a bit so that you can lift the left leg, it doesn't have to go high, and down. It's just the action, we're trying to lift the leg, even though we're in one of our most extreme stretches. Good, it's gonna be difficult. Nobody said this was easy. Good, and let's do one more. One. And lower all the way down. Press your hands in the floor and sit back. Stretch up your spine. Beautiful, keeping your hands where they are. As you shift forward, walk them a little bit forward and you're gonna lower down into your cobra, feet together. Push into the floor and sit back. You can widen your feet or widen your hands a little bit. Walk them out, press the hips down. Then you can look up, press back to stretch it out. Let's do that three more times. Walk forward, lower the hips, squeeze the glutes, open up the shoulders, press back. And two more, push open. Don't just sit in this stretch. We're actively finding this cobra, squeezing the glute, engaging the core. Beautiful. And let's stay here. Walk your hands in a little bit. You can widen your feet a little bit. We're going to bend our right knee and we're going to look to the right, tilt your head just like you're in a ballet class and release. And same with the left. A ma. Think of that apple ma there. And release. Let's do that again with the right. And release. Keep lifting the belly button and the left. Option to press toes to head. And lower down. Beautiful. Sit back, stretch out the spine. Beautiful. And very last one, we are going to be using this TheraBand, you can also use a stretcher, uh, stretcher, sweater. <laughs> I was thinking a sweater and I was thinking stretcher at the same time, that's silly. So go ahead and take the band. This is mostly for our shoulders, so roll your shoulders a couple of times. Keeping your back nice and straight, take your arms in front of you to the band where it's taut. You're gonna lift the biceps towards the ears and open up the shoulders back. Widen the band if you need to. Try not to do weird things with your head and your neck and your back to make space. Beautiful. Let's do two more. You can incorporate the upper body a little bit. Beautiful. Good. Very last one before we go today. This is a pretty fun one. Go ahead and stack your shoulders on top of your hips. Take your side bend towards the left, right arm above your head. Walk your fingertips towards your left ankle. You can even grab your left ankle or place your hand down. And you're going to open up the back to try to find the right side. Good. Bring the right arm back. Bring it to your side bend again. Control. And bring it through fifth. Same to the right. Take your side bend to the right. Find the floor. Walk back. Open up the chest. Push to come back up. Side bend. Control and come back up. Let's do that one more time. Side bend to the left. Maybe you're not using the floor this time. Maybe you're just using the control. And come back side and center and round to core to the right and back and come back and up. Beautiful. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun with this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing. And until next time, bye now.